hello all welcome back to our channel so in this video we are going to discuss about the subject financial institution management that is called fim so this subject is only for bcom general student this subject won't be there for bcom computer application students of semester 3 so in this video whatever the important questions i am giving in this video is enough to score o great okay so if you want to get pass marks in this subject then follow any three units if you learn any three units uh, whatever the important questions i have given in this video is enough to get pass marks if you want to score o grade in this subject whatever the questions i have given in this video you need to learn all the questions okay so in this video i'm going to tell you about the tips and tricks how you should attempt your answers in the examination or also everything in detail we will discuss about this video so about first we will discuss about the syllabus content total you will have five units the first unit is indian financial market system and the second is financial institutions third unit is money market fourth unit is debt market and fifth unit is equity market these are the five units once check out whether this unit syllabus is for usmania university or any other university if you are from any other like kakati or palamuri university if the syllabus content is same means you can absolutely follow these important questions okay so this is about the syllabus content of fim now we will discuss about the question paper pattern so coming back to the question paper pattern in part a it consists of total 20 marks means in part a they will ask first question to eight questions out of eight questions you should attempt any five questions which it carries four marks each so five into four twenty marks so as each question carries four marks you need to write at least one side one and a half side of answer in the answer booklet then only you can score four on four marks so some of the students will write only five to six sentences for four marks no you should not do like that minimum one side of answer is must so coming back to the part b part b consists of 60 marks where you will attempt all the questions there is no in, uh, choice of that and in each question you will have internal choice not external choice internal choice okay 9a or 9b both the questions will come from unit number one whether you should attempt a either b it's your wish whether you are perfect with the a question you should attempt that a question if you are perfect with the b question you should attempt that b question that's it and part b consists of 12 marks for each question minimum three sides of answer is must to score o grade okay minimum three sides or to get pass marks also minimum three sides of answer you must write okay so this is about the question paper pattern now we'll discuss about the important questions from unit number one I have given only five questions from unit number one in each in each unit i have given five five questions if you are perfect with this five questions no need to uh, learn any short questions if you are perfect with this uh, five question you will attempt one long question which consists of 12 marks and one short question which consists of four marks total 16 marks you can attempt if you learn these five questions so what do you explain the components of financial system and structure of indian financial system is one of the important question from unit number one now from unit number two i have given five questions here the differences between higher purchase and leasing is the most repeated question as well as the define banking and the roles and functions of commercial banking these are the two main main important questions from unit number two okay so and uh, whatever the questions i have given in this uh, unit number two all the five questions try to learn so for those who want only passing marks try to learn all questions from any of the three units okay that is enough to score pass marks if you want to score uh, O grade then all questions and all units you need to learn and unit number three also i have given uh five questions functions of rbi role of rbi one question damn sure you will get about the rbi they will ask about the rbi that is reserve bank of india whether they may ask roles of rbi or functions of rbi so this is the rbi concept is very 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 much important from unit number three and also various money market instruments this is also an important question from unit number three try to learn all these questions from unit number three 
and in unit number 4 also i have given five questions in this also functions of indian debt market indian debt market is the important question and about government securities market one question will get for government security market if you learn that concept you can able to score 12 marks you will attempt that 12 marks question in part b government securities market concept as well as the indian debt market these are the two main concepts only you are having in unit number four if you are perfect with this concept then you will absolutely attempt one long question 12 marks and one short question 4 marks which consists of 16 marks weightage for this unit and in fifth question i have given uh, six questions because it's an important chapter and a lengthy chapter objectives and functions of sebi is the most important question okay so objectives and functions of sebi is the important as well as the functions of secondary markets is also important and also primary market and secondary market differences these are the three three main important questions from unit number five okay primary and secondary market differences functions of secondary markets and roles and responsibilities and objectives and functions of sebi okay and indian stock markets also is important uh, what are the various uh, instruments you are having what are the various changes you have finding in indian stock market this is also an important question you can write this answer by your own it's a generalized topic okay so this is about the video i hope that you have got clarity about this subject many of you are asking about the fim important questions so according to the senior faculty of fim and the uh, I have given all these important questions. If you learn these questions, is more than enough to score or grade or uh, to get passed. Only three units is enough. Okay. So all the very best for your preparation as well as your examination. So I think that this video helped you a lot. So if you are having any doubts, you please comment me in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to uh, answer your comment. Okay. I think that this video has helpful to you all and I hope that you have got clarity about this subject and you have got everything fine about this subject. If you are having any further doubts related to the other subjects also, you please comment me in the comment section and coming back to the notes topic, whatever the PDFs I am having, notes PDF, I will upload all that PDFs in telegram group. So telegram group as well as the whatsapp group everything whatever the links we are having I am providing that links in description as well as the comment box if you want to join our telegram group there you will find the pdf notes or if you want to join uh, in whatsapp group also link was given in description as well as the comment box in whatsapp group i will update the further update future update what are the videos i am going to do everything like that uh, i will update in whatsapp if you want the notes pdf means try to join in telegram group there you will find the all subjects notes okay so this is all about the video i hope that you have got clarity if you like this video then like share and subscribe to our channel if you think that this video is worthy this channel is worthy then please do share and like and subscribe to our channel okay so once again all the very best see you on next video bye bye